Come on. If you can hear us, praise the Lord with My us. My God, if you can hear us, if you can see us, come on and give God some praise. Come on and give us some hearts. Come on and comment. God, thank you. Worship God. Come on, let's worship the Lord. Hallelujah. <clears throat> come on, Hallelujah. I'm telling you, no weapon formed against Hallelujah. us shall no prosper. Weapon. No weapon, no Listen, weapon. We are so grateful to God that God keeps making a way. No matter what, God won't let you die. He won't let you down. He won't my, let my. He won't let the enemy have his yes. way. Listen, we want to um, thank you for um, hopping back into service. Your patience. And your patience. Listen, it wasn't our technical difficulties. Uh, Facebook. Facebook had a problem uh, with, with some of our content. And so... Um, they, they blocked the, they, they block the live stream. Yeah, they blocked the that live stream. Because of the media content at the end. Because of the media content. And so... Um, because of that, we just said, hey, we'll just um, come on live and do what we do. So come on, let's give God a praise and thank God no matter what is going on. God is still worthy of the praise. He's still worthy of the praise. Just just take a moment and, and, and woosah and do a reset. And, and let's go back into worship and just tell God, thank you. Listen, co-pastor, what I love about Victory Nation is that we don't they didn't have to go back into worship i believe that even all right now when the um, technology <laughs> shut down i know we were praying i know we were still lifted because we were in worship already right in our, our personal sanctuary my god come on if that's the truth if you if you praise god no matter what when we talk about um hallelujah anyhow when we talk about that you got to be steadfast this is what it's all about you never know what's going to come your way but listen we kicked off wednesday night and how many of you told god i'm committed that's it i'm committed i'm committed i'm, I'm gonna be faithful that's god it. i'm gonna sit that's here it. and wait to this thing and listen i'm gonna worship until it comes back <laughs> on i don't know what's going maybe god is saying it's time for me to have my personal worship my, right in here my. not to be amped by anything or anyone but the holy spirit and so we I'm thank focused. god come on if you focus today put some hearts on the screen yes, give god yes, some yes. praise this morning because god is worthy to be praised he's worthy listen to be tell praised. your friends and your family to come back into worship there is a word from god this morning and we don't want anybody to miss this word. So we're asking you to come back in, like the live stream, start a watch party or share it to your timeline. Don't be guilty of not sharing the God that you say you love with the people that you love. Amen. My God, I'm excited about God this morning. I, listen, I was already in a worship and I'm still in worship because I realized that the enemy can't take my worship. My, my, my. <laughs> he can try. He can try to run interference, right? He can try to cause things to come in to distract me, but the enemy cannot stop me from worshiping God because I know who God is. In spite of what's going on around me, even even sometimes what's going on in me, I still know how to worship my way through to get in the presence of God. And so Amen. we want to stay in the vein of worship this morning. We give you glory, God. We honor God. We bless yes. him. We magnify him. We lift up holy hands. Listen, I said to you before we got interrupted, you ought to, you, your house should be filled with worship because Amen. you are there. Yes. Your home is your sanctuary. Wherever you are in your home. You should have the freedom and the liberty to worship God, to have an undignified praise. Why? Because God has been faithful. He has been merciful. He has been kind. If listen, I, I'll say it again because it's worth saying again that God does not have to do anything else for us because why? He woke us up this morning. Yes, why? You, see, you got heat in your home. Why? You got water to be able to drink and to bathe. Why? Because you are in a place where all of your needs are being met you have the daily necessities that you need in order to go about your daily lives and guess what there's somebody this morning that can't say that and so if you are in a position where you know god has been good to you where god has been faithful mm -hmm. in spite of how how we have not been faithful to god you owe him a praise you owe him mm -hmm. worship this morning 
Hallelujah. My God, yes. I feel the presence of God this morning. Yes. I'm grateful for all that the Lord has done. Listen, somebody didn't wake up this morning, but God saw fit to allow you to rise. It was not your alarm clock. It was not your spouse. It was not your loved one that woke you up this morning. It was not somebody calling you on your cell phone. It was <laughs> not the alarm, but it was the hand of God that allowed you to rise one more day. One more day just to be able to give God praise. Thank you, Father. Yeah, my, the seniors would say, just another day <laughs> that the Lord has kept me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm reminded of God's goodness this morning. I'm reminded of his mercy this morning. I am reminded mm -hmm. of how good God is this morning. Hallelujah. My God. Victory, we my are so God. grateful to God. Come on, can we My give God. our young people another hand praise? Yeah. I don't know if you were able to experience um, yes. their giftedness and My their God. presentation before uh, Facebook shut it down. But I'm here to tell Listen. you that we have some gifted <laughs> young people house. and we're grateful. I thank God for Brother yes. Aiden and for the Bellamy's and Sister Normandy and for all of our young people. We honor and we thank God. God. Come on, you ought to give God some praise on you the screen. Come on, let's give God the hearts and let's give yes. um, some 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 adoration to yeah. God Let for God our young people. Let God know how much we love him. Yes, let's, let's thank, thank him for God. our young people. Amen. Listen, they are not in the, they are not in the juvenile detention uh, system, right? Wow. Yeah. They, they, they are not out here uh, mm -hmm. being uh, sex trafficked, mm -hmm. but, but, they, but they have parents that understand the biblical <clears throat> principle of training up your child in the way that they should go. Put them in the atmosphere where God is. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. So that God can use, so he can grow them, so he can develop them, so he can build them up. Yes. So that we tell our children who they are. We don't mm -hmm. let the world tell them who they are. We allow God to tell them who, who they are. And so I'm grateful for the gifts and callings of our young people. God has his hands on them. And so we continue to pray. We continue to pray. Listen, Pastor Arms, I was so grateful to be able to uh, connect with our college students on this past Come on, Friday. give a shout out to our college students. I was so, so grateful. Honored and grateful to share with you all just yes. uh, for that short period of time. And yes. we're praying for you. So proud of you. And we want you to yes. know um, that the Victory Nation, your pastors, we're here with you. We're here for you. And we're so godly proud of what God um, yes. is doing in your lives and what you are doing for um, the way you strive for excellence and to please God. And so we're grateful for that. And so we salute you in a great way, in a great way, <clears throat> in a great way. And listen, I'm excited about um, this upcoming Sunday where we get to um, get together with the brothers. Amen. Um, I'm excited about that. Brothers uh, got a dear um, preacher friend of mine that'll be sharing with us My and we'll just have conversation talking about um, men's stuff Woo! the stuff that men deal Woo! with that y'all have absolutely Woo! no idea My God. Listen. How, 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 <laughs> it, how it feels um, to be to be a man and not appreciate it. how it feels to be mm. a man and um, be concerned about whether you can provide for My your God. family My to God. be a man and uh, to have to deal with um, all of the 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 anxieties yes. of, of raising children in this um, climate and country that we live in. My and mind. so um, how to please God as a man, how mm. um, to stay uh, honorable as a man. So we're going to talk about God, some men's good. stuff and that's I'm, I'm excited about it. So brothers, uh, make sure that you prepare yourselves um, to come on next Sunday. I um, it's the six o'clock hour. Sisters, that's going to be good. Ladies. Get your husbands. Yes. That's it. Get, get your, your boyfriends, yes. your brothers, your, your fathers, your nephews, your uncles, yes. your cousins, yes. because men struggle too. My, my. But most of the time we cry in the dark. My, my, my. But I'm here to tell you, brothers, that you're not in it by yourself. My, my. That's that so you good. would be surprised that there's another brother or, mm. a, or some other brothers that have gone that are going through what you're going through mm. or maybe uh, have dealt with what you're dealing with. But I'm here to tell you that iron sharpens iron and we're my. coming together 
just to have this conversation, just to be in this man cave, just to come together as the men of yes. victory and talk about men the, in the stuff, cave. the stuff that men my, go through. My, my. Hallelujah. Listen, I'm grateful for all of those who are committed, all of those who have um, entrusted uh, yourselves to this process and yes. journey of fasting. And we'll talk about that. Um, but we want to make sure that we stay uh, faithful in our giving. And so this is the portion of our worship experience where we give God in his tithe and his yes, offering. Yes, yes. Listen, you're not being coerced. Nobody's twisting your arm. <laughs> you know what God has That's done it. for you. That's it. You know that if it had not been for God providing, my, my. if it had not been for God being faithful. Mm. And so part of our um, journey, part of our, our, our concentration is that we want to be faithful my, my. in these 40 days. If yes. God gives it to us, we want to honor God with it. Be we want to give God, that's it. We want to give God that, yes. that God requires us to give. And so the word of God declares that God loves a chill forgiver. And so this is the portion of our worship experience where we give God his tithe and his offering. And I want to lift up this first official tithe and offering of our, um, 40 days. of our 40 days. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And so, um, come on, let's, let's pray over. Um, our tithes, our offering. I, I'm praying that my God, um, my God. that God would get glory yes. and that yes. we would grow mm -hmm. from our commitment and our focus my, my. on being faithful to God. My God. And so you already know um, the different ways that you can give. You can give through our cash app um, um, apparatus or you can go to give la mm -hmm. and you can give on those lines but we thank and we honor yes. god um, for seed yes. that god has given to the soul my, my. that we might sow into his kingdom my, that we my. might be able to do a great work for god god i thank you thank you father and i pray now that you would bless the seed of the sower yes god i pray god that in our obedience whether it be great or small yes we know god that you don't look at the size of our mm. gift necessarily, but you look at the heart behind my, my. our gift. And so we come, some trusting you for the first time, some saying, God, I'm, I'm sorry and I want to get it right and I want to honor you with that that you've honored me with. Yes, God. Some come having been faithful because they know that your word is true. Yes, Lord. So now, God, we put our seed in the ground. Mm. We come and we bring our gifts to your yeah. house. And we ask, Lord God, that you would bless it, breathe on it, and use it for your glory's sake and your glory's sake alone. In Jesus' name. Come on, can we give God a Amen. praise? Amen. Come on, can Amen. we give God a praise? Hallelujah. How many of you know that it all belongs Hallelujah. to God anyway? It all belongs to God anyway. If you know he deserves all of the glory, all of the honor. Yes. If he deserves your hallelujah, come on, let's give God a shout of praise mm. even now. Hallelujah. Come on, make some noise for the Lord. Mm. My hallelujah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Ooh, the highest praise that I could give him. Hallelujah. My, my, my hallelujah. Listen, yes, belongs to belongs him. Belongs to you, God. Yes. Turn with us. Mm. To Old Testament passage of scripture, we find in the prophet of old, Isaiah. Come on, get your Bibles. Yes, Lord. Come on, I need you to get your Bibles. Have your Bibles in front of you. Whatever application you have or apparatus you have with your bible application on Amen. it Amen. we're going to go ahead and begin reading yeah Shout. i say hold on isaiah <laughs> <laughs> the 58th <laughs> chapter you ready to get into I, this i thought word? we was ready to get into it i'm nah, sorry <laughs> Amen. listen i'll be reading the living bible translation and i want us to um Zoom our focus in on 
the Living Bible translation, but whatever translation you have is okay. Isaiah 58, the Living Bible translation, beginning at verse 1, reads on this wise. Shout with the voice of a trumpet blast. Tell my people of their sins. Yet they act so pious. They come to the temple every day and are so delighted to hear the reading of my laws just as though they would obey them. Just as though they don't despise the commandments of their God. Mm. How anxious they are to worship correctly. Oh, how they love the temple services. My, my. We have fasted before you, they say. Why aren't you impressed? Why don't you see our sacrifices? Why don't you hear our prayers? We have done much penance. And you don't even notice it. Mama. I'll tell you why. Because you are living a... Mm. And an and evil pleasure. Listen to what the Lord is responding. My God. Even while you are fasting. And you keep right on oppressing your workers. Look. What good is fasting? When you keep on fighting and quarreling. Jesus. This kind of fasting. Speak Lord. Will never get you anywhere with me. Is this what I want? This doing of penitence and bowing like reeds in the wind, putting on sackcloth and covering yourself with ashes? Mm. Is this what you call fasting? My God. I'm going to pause right there, but we're going to go walk through these scriptures. I, I want to talk. We want to talk to you um, this morning. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. Y'all pray for uh, your pastor, your pastors. Um, but we want to talk to you this morning mm. from the thought. Go sit your nasty fast down somewhere. Yeah. Mm. Go sit your nasty fast my, my, my. down somewhere. Ah, Jesus. Come on, shorten it up. Just tell somebody, go sit your fast down somewhere. Woo! <laughs> yeah, God. <laughs> mm. Sit your nasty fast, F-A-S-T, down my, my. somewhere. Speak, Lord. My, my, my. Mm. My brothers and sisters, for... The last few days, we have been making our way mm. to the cross. My, my. Collectively as a church, we have been led by the Spirit of God through the man and leadership of God. That our, our theme would be to zoom in on fasting, to put our attention on fasting, focusing, and faithfulness. Mm -hmm. And I'm grateful that many of you, if not all, have made up in your minds that you will be committed yeah. on this 40-day journey to fasting, to focusing on God, and to being faithful. My, my. We want to make sure that we understand as we stuck our toe in the water the last couple of gatherings about the seriousness of fasting. We don't want to just come together out of ritual or routine, out of the annual expectation mm -hmm. of Lent that we come together 
just to um, arouse ourselves mm. spiritually to none effect. Mm, check in the box. We want to just make sure that we are aware of what we are doing. We don't want to be like many of those that we talked about in the Old Testament who came and gathered together as spiritual communities of faith, as the people of God, as those followers of God. And call a fast just to go through the ritual and the routine of an annual observance. We want to make sure that when we fast, that this fast that we're on is pleasing to God. We're coming together, we're fasting, and we talked about what fasting is. is when we abstain from food, from water, when we... Um, Deny ourselves yes. from those things that uh, we take pleasure in or that we find as necessities. Mm -hmm. And so we have made it very clear yes. that you should check with your doctor when you start this fast. Because some may not medically mm -hmm. or physically be able mm -hmm. to journey 40 days and fast but you can give up something outside of food mm -hmm. and i believe that if you are fasting from food that there are some other things that fasting will prompt you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to deny as well yeah you want to make sure that you are focused on the true and living god because we found evidence throughout the Old Testament throughout the word of God, even in the new, but we're focusing right now on this Old Testament. And we see that there were communities of faith, that there were believers, there were followers of God who fasted yeah. and God did not honor their fast. My, 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 my. As a matter of fact, it was almost as God was saying, looking at their fast and say, you go sit that nasty fast down somewhere because that's not pleasing to me. Woo. You get that out of my face because your fast is not about me. Your fast is about you. Jesus. And so God raises up the prophet. And we see where God is telling the, 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 this major prophet to cry out. Mm. Speak, Lord. To his people. And tell his people. What well, thus saith the Lord regarding mm. their fast. You see it in the verse that we began with. You see where he starts off and, and he says what? Come on here, co-pastor. Let's walk through this thing. Listen, he says, shout with the voice of a trumpet blast. What he was saying to the prophet was cry loud. He was saying, uh, say it with the loudness of your throat. Cry with your throat, with your voice, as loud as you can, as a trumpet. Get the attention of the people. Cry out to the people. Yell to the people. Let them know. Tell my people of their sins. Of their sins. <laughs> because they were thinking. My, my. That just because they were fasting, Woo. that they weren't sinning. My, my, my. Can I tell you that um, every fast ain't a fast. That some fast are just um, diets, if you will. <laughs> some fast is, is just that you decided um, um, to walk away from, from, from some meals, that, that you decided to walk away um, from, from some television shows. But a fast is not a fast if it is not God-centric. My God. You Do you hear what I'm that. saying? That you cannot fast and not... Uh, uh, and not have God as the focus of your fast. My God. That's so when we that. talk about fasting, when we talk about fasting, it has to be connected to focusing. And the focus must be on God. You cannot have a fast, if you will, um, this spiritual um, um, encounter, this spiritual ritual, um, and not allow it to be God-centric. With all of the attributes mm -mm -mm. 
and characteristics of affairs that God so desires. He tells the prophet Isaiah, cry out with a loud voice to the people yes. and tell them about their sins. Listen to this. Yet they act so pious. They come to the temple every day and are so delighted to hear the reading of my laws. So it doesn't matter. He said they were walking around pious and they were going to church. Listen, <laughs> you could be fasting and go to church and still and not be pleasing to God. You better come on here. That you can be denying yourself from fried chicken, from barbecue ribs, from macaroni and cheese, from collard greens, from all of those things. And you can, listen, you can turn your television off and not watch and be coming to church and still. My God. It may not be pleasing to God. The Bible said that these people were fasting. They were coming to the temple to hear. My God. The word of God. But still, God had a problem with the people. Let's continue to journey down here and see what it was that um, displeased God. To see what it was. The Bible said that they were pious. In other words, they had this look of, of, of being um, devout. Yes. They thought that their fast um, outwardly made them look more spiritual My God. to other people. My God. More holy. More holy. <laughs> Y'all know how it is. I, Lord have mercy. I, I don't want to start nothing, but but the way we dress to a certain extent, to, the, to a certain extent, and I'm not talking about um, taking care of yourself and, and wearing nice clothes. I, I, I believe that. I believe we ought to represent God well. But I am talking about that when you do um, something outwardly to give uh, um, um, an expression mm. to others that are looking on you that you are. Mm. And right standing with God. Jesus. Or that you're so holy. My God. Or that you're so righteous. That you're so pious. That's good. You have a look, Lord have mercy. I <laughs> form. <laughs> and so God is saying that you got this look. You got you look religious. As a matter of fact, co pastor, I off the trip off of this uh, video and it circulates every um Lenten season. Uh, this brother he he's going around, he you know, he he, he goes um, to the church and 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 he, he he gets his ashes and and he he starts the fast and he's telling everybody <laughs> that he's on a fast indirectly. Mm. He's calling his friends, said, "Hey, um, I, I just wanted to call y'all and let y'all know if y'all called me and uh, and y'all wanted to go out to eat, um, I can't go out to eat because I'm fasting." <laughs> Listen, he would pull up to his favorite drive through <laughs> restaurant and say, hey, you know, um, I, I just stopped by. No, I, no, I don't want to order anything. I just want to let y'all know, uh, you know, just came through to let y'all know I won't be ordering anything because um, um, I'm, 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 I'm fasting. I'm concentrating myself, not consecrating. I'm concentrating <laughs> myself. But as funny as that sounds, Fasting, it should have a concentration. My mind. And it should, the concentration should be God. My the mind. consecration is that we should set ourselves apart for God, that God might be able to draw us closer, mm. that God might be able to speak to our hearts, that we might be able to go before God and allow God to minister to us, allow God to work on us, allow God to develop us, allow God to cleanse yeah. us, to cleanse us and clean us us up mm. while we're fasting he said you came to the church <laughs> pious every time the church doors open he, to hear the word yes but come on watch this he said just as though they would obey them just as though they don't despise the commandments of their God you came like you really yeah all about yeah. The word of God. Yeah. Like you're really going to live it. Yeah. Like you're really going to obey this, the word of God. So other people would think that, you know, you, you come to church, you get the word, but you don't live the word. Ooh. You come to church, you hear what thus saith the Lord. You read your Bible, mm. you hear what thus saith the Lord. And he said, you're doing all of this like you really going to do what God is saying to do through his teaching through his preaching through his logos through his written word he said y'all act like 
Y'all really going to do it. Y'all going through all of this. Like y'all are really going to obey the commands of the Lord. How many out there still got their hands up saying, Lord, I'm committed. My Come on God. here, co-pastor. He, sa he says how anxious they are to worship correctly. <laughs> oh, how they love the temple services. Oh, I love, oh. <laughs> I love going to church. Girl, you ought to go to my church. We get it in. They love the church Woo! services. They love the 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 the, <laughs> the, the flow of, of, of service. The they love uh, yeah. Yeah, the theatrics yeah. and all of those kinds of things. They love the singing. They love the dancing. They love the music. They love seeing each other and greeting each other and all of those kinds of things. They love that. My, my, my. That's a word. But it is not a God-centric thing. Come on, watch this. Come on, we got to roll. He says, we have fasted before you. This is what the people started saying to God. We fasted before you. They say. <laughs> uh-huh. Why aren't you impressed? God, why aren't you impressed with our fast? We're fasting. We're, we're denying ourselves. Yeah. From certain things. Yeah. From certain people. Why aren't you pleased? That's it. We're going to church. We're reading the word. Why aren't you pleased? Come on. They said, why don't you see our sacrifices? Don't you see God? All of this I'm giving up. <laughs> I don't even go out to eat. I don't. Listen, I told so-and-so they can't come over. <laughs> what? I shut it down. Mm. God, you don't see my sacrifices that I'm making for these 40 days for this little period of time. Come on. Why don't you hear our prayers? Lord have mercy. We have done much penance. So they've been saying, God, we've been fasting and we've been praying. We, we've been um, repenting. So we, we've been showing um, my, my, my. Um, um, that we have messed up, that we've dropped the yeah. ball, that we've made mistakes, that we have some blemishes on our resume. We, 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 we put it all out there, God. Why haven't you heard our prayer? My God. We've been praying, God, that you would do something for us. We've been praying, God, that you would bless us, that you would uh, allow our cups to run over, that you would make us somebody, that you would do something to bless us, 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 me, me, I, I. Do you see me? God, you don't see me? They said, and you don't even notice it. God, I'm doing all of this. <laughs> And you don't even know. I mean, I'm fasting, God, and you don't even know. You don't even honor my prayers. You don't even notice this. Don't you see this? Come on. Listen, and here is what the prophet says that God says. This is what Isaiah said loud to the people. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because you are living in evil pleasure. You're li living in evil pleasure. Even while you're, you are fast. Even while you're fast. Help us today, God. Lord, have mercy. Even while you're fasting. Even while you said I'm committed. Even my, while my, my, you've my. given up uh, fried chicken and ribs. Even though you've given up red meat. But still, you're, 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 you're sinning while you're fasting. And you keep right on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're sinning while you're fasting. My, my. You're missing the mark. You're, you're, you're doing the opposite of what, what it is that God would have you to do. My God. In the midst of your fast, just because you gave up some, some, some television, because you gave up a few meals, it does not erase or eradicate the fact that you ain't living right. Lord, have mercy. But here it is, Pastor. Some of us have given up <clears throat> things, but did we consult God on the thing that we needed to give up? Uh-huh. Amen. So listen to what he's saying. Come on, co-pastor. He says, and you keep right on oppressing your workers. And you keep right on oppressing your workers. Now, these, these are spiritual people. These are godly people. And even on the Sabbath, this is what he's saying. You're fasting. You're going to church. But while you're going to church and you're resting on the Sabbath day, you're treating other people wrong. My, my. You're not, you're not um, demonstrating e equality. Now, this is not um, um, the only time that God has allowed this, um, this type of conversation to go on with his people. He did it even through the prophet of, of um, Zechariah when he told the people, y'all are fasting. I think it was on the fifth and the seventh month. You're doing this because that's what your forefathers did and you just kept it going as an annual thing. 
but your heart. You ain't doing. You ain't. Your, your hearts are not. Listen. Are not with me. Are far from me. Yes. Come on. This is it right here. He said, "Look, what good is fasting, and you keep." And what good is fasting mm -hmm. when you keep on fighting and quarreling? This is what he said because this is what it, this this is what was happening. Help us today, God. Not only were they treating those who they had authority over wrong, they were not um, operating in equality. They were not treating people fairly, but they were also fighting now you fasting and fighting not the devil <laughs> but you're fighting other spirit to see who to see who's more spiritual they in church fighting lord have mercy i wish i could preach this right now i think we need to how can minutes. you be on a fast be in the midst of god's service be in the midst of god's body be in the midst of god's church and be quarreling and fighting doing a fast they said go sit that nasty fast down somewhere. That ain't no real fast. You still, in other words, you, you, you still hate somebody and you fasting trying to get closer to me? You still holding on to a grudge? You're still walking in unforgiveness? You're still walking in, in, in all of that bitterness and all of that anger? God said, go sit. Your nasty fast down somewhere. Come on, co pastor. He says, This kind of fasting, this kind of fasting, will never, will never get you anywhere, get you anywhere with me, with God. Come on. That it, speaks for itself. Yeah. In other words, that God does, listen, God does not, God is not obligated, as I was trying to tell you. To honor every fast, every just because you are denying some things, yourself from some things. There is still a heart that you must have. There's still an obedience that is coupled with fasting that God honors. Listen, and that's so good, Pastor, that you say this, and I need to share this. In that what God is ultimately saying is that. You, 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 you are, fo you, you are trying to please me, but it's not just me and you, you got to be able to, uh, in your fasting also reflect on your horizontal relationships. Right. Mm -hmm. And so when he talks about, um, you know, we, you're fasting, you're denying yourselves of some things. But you, you still got, you still got uh, un unresolved issues. You don't have peace with those whom you live in your house with. But you consecrating yourself to, to pray and to fast and to read your Bible. But you can't make things right with the one that you say you love. And so this is where God is saying, listen, I'm looking at your heart and not just how you, how you come to me, but also how you, how you interact and relate to others. Amen. Amen. And so that that's that this is something that we all have to wrestle with and work through that. It's not just about sanctifying and consecrating ourselves mm -hmm. with just God, but it is. And, and that's the vertical, right? It's easy to focus and concentrate on God most times. But where the real work comes in is what when you humble yourself and you surrender and you submit yourself. And then God says, and now I need you to be at peace with your husband. Now I need you to go and make it right. I I'm talking to myself this morning. Now you you got now you need to go and get and, and get resolved yeah. and ask for reconciliation for the one that you can see you can't see me but you can see them and you walking around here fighting and quarreling mm -hmm. and God says and this kind of fasting will never get you anywhere with me mm -hmm. God is saying I don't even hear your prayer I don't even see you fat your fast I don't amen. honor your fast amen and so he says is this what I want this is what he's saying to the people. This doing of penance and bowing like reeds in the wind. What he was saying is you, you're giving this outward appearance. This is what he's saying that fasting is not about. You're giving this outward appearance of holiness. But things ain't right on the inside. God says, is that what you think it's about? 
You just bowing. You just going through the motion. You 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 you, re, you acting spiritual, real uh, real spiritual. Yeah. He said it's not about that. Come on, look. I, I got to get through this. Look, putting let's on go. sackcloth and covering yourselves with ashes. Is this what you call that's why Jesus fasting? said that's why Jesus said y'all 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 go ahead y'all wash your face. <laughs> don't 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 look don't, don't, you ain't gotta listen, you don't have to do go go to that extreme. It's not about what other people my God think and look on you and try to applaud you for being so spiritual, so pious, so um so set apart, so consecrated, because God knows. Come on. No. This kind of fast, the kind of fast I want is that you stop oppressing mm -hmm. those who work for you. Listen to what he's saying. And treat them fairly and give them what they earn. Mm. I want you to share your food with the hungry. Here we are. Ha. Listen to what God is saying. God is saying when you fast. My, my. He said it's about you representing me, you, you coming, that, that, you, that you are denying your flesh, that your spirit, my, my, my. that the spirit of God in you may increase. Jesus. And that I may work through you in such a great way that you ought to be operating, you ought to be flowing, you ought to be um, demonstrating mm. the very personality and characteristic of God. He said, I want you to share your food with the hungry and bring right into your own heart. How are you going to fast <laughs> and not think about other people? Co-pastor kind of jumped the gun on me, but this is what he's talking about. Not only vertical, but a horizontal. My, my. That you can't just be so spiritual. My, my. That you forget what God is all about. My, my. That God so loves the world. That God is concerned about yes. poor. God is concerned about those who are disenfranchised. God is concerned about those who, um, who have lack. God is concerned about those who are hurting. God is concerned about those that are going through. God is concerned. Mama. Mama. And so Mama. we ought to be concerned too. Watch this. Come on. And bring right into your own homes those who are helpless, poor, and destitute. He said, "You are everything you have. If you if you're denying yourself, you whatever it is, they talking about your home." He said, "You ought to be able to bring now. I'm not, you know. I, I know we living in in, in in some some different times. This is what he was telling this yes. culture, this people. What he basically what he was saying is." Um, the, the, meet the need. The, the, yeah, meet the need. What, whatever you have, yeah, yeah. you ought to be willing to extend it <laughs> for the glory of God. Clothe those who are cold. Clothe those who are cold. And don't hide from relatives who need your help. <laughs> Woo, Jesus, Lord, my have God. Mercy. Listen, this ought to be convicting because all of us got relatives. But sometimes we forget. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes we forget and we treat people, Lord have mercy, because we forget that we are to ultimately are representing God, even within our family. Y'all know, listen, I'm, I'm telling you, <laughs> I got some family members, listen, I, I done told them every time they call me, I, I'm like, man, listen, hey, this the last time, I ain't doing this no more. But then they call again, another month, three weeks, two months down, and I do it again. And, and I, when, even when I don't want to do it, because it's the spirit of God. Now, I'm not saying you let people take advantage of you and you have to use discernment. Yes. But God is saying, even our family members, don't hide from them. Y'all know how y'all don't answer the phone? Because you know you get that cousin that's always calling. They want to borrow the car, want to borrow some money, want to let, want you to let them hold something until payday. <laughs> Come on, listen to what the Lord is saying. If you do these things. If you do these things. And he's saying, now, you did those things, and those <laughs> things did not um, require me or mm. motivate me to answer your prayers. 
God will shed his own glorious light upon you. But if you do this, Lord, have mercy. I'm going to make you shine. Mm. <laughs> what he said, if you do this, I'm going to bless you. Listen to what he's saying. Come on. He says, he will heal you. I'll heal you. In the midst of while you're fasting, I, I'll give you. Listen, when he says that I will allow the light to come in. In other words, what he was saying, that there is the contrast between light and darkness. And the people of God were experiencing darkness. But he's saying, when you begin to fast and you begin to take care of other people. And you begin to have my heart and to go out and to do what I've called and purposed you to do. That I will allow your dark situation to go away. I will allow the light to shine in. I will allow the light to come forward. I, I will al al allow darkness to, 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 to be done away with. Listen to what he's saying. I love this. Your godliness. He said, no, he also said, I will heal you. Yeah. And the mystery, this is how you get results when you're fasting. This is how God responds when you're fasting. Mama. This is when God says, yeah, come on, give me that fast. I, I love that fast. That, 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 that's, that's the kind of fast I'm talking about. When you ain't just going through the motions. When you ain't just playing yeah. church. When you ain't just trying to look like you're holy and look like you're somebody. When you really Mama. give me your heart. He says your godliness. Your godliness will lead you forward. Will lead you forward. In other words, where you are, God is saying, that's the thing. Your godliness will promote you. My, my, my. You turn it over to sin, will promote you. You do what God said do, will promote you. We'll move you forward. It will prosper you. Come on. Goodness. Goodness. Will be a shield before you. In other words, I'll fight your battle. That when you start fight, when you start fasting right, he said, I'll fight your battles. That it'll be a shield before you. Watch this. And the glory of the Lord will protect you from behind. In other words, it's a shield before you. <laughs> and then I got my glory back. In other words, yeah. I got your back. In other words, can't no enemy sneak up on you. It's, it's like when he yeah, said um, that, you know, he, he gives um, the pillar of cloud uh, the, uh, by day and, and fire by night. What, what he was saying. And you know how he used that to, to separate the enemies um, um, of, of, of the people of God away from God because they couldn't get to, to the people because God, Lord have mercy, knows how my, my, to cover you. To cover That's you. it. That's it. I'm here to tell you when you fast, right? Jesus. God will allow the light to come into your dark situation. What's the dark situation? It doesn't matter what it is. That's it. That God say he'll come in. Yeah. He, he, he'll make you healthy. He'll watch over your health. My, my, when you fast right. He'll put a, a shield in front of you and a shield behind you. He'll cover you. Come on. Here's what I love. He said then. Then. When you call. Uh-huh. The Lord will answer. Then, Lord have mercy. I almost got up and went, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Yeah, guys. Then. <laughs> my, my. Lord have mercy. Woo! Then what? Then. Then, the Lord, what? When you call. Uh-huh. He's going to answer. The Lord will answer. So when, when you fasting right, when you thinking about other people, when you, listen, that's why I love you. And I keep telling y'all, I, I listen. For where we are in That's God, it. I believe that hands down, That's it. we have one of the strongest outreach in reach ministries yes, Lord. on this side of glory. Come on here, Redeemer. Come on here, outreach in reach team. My Come mind. on here, Victory. Say Come it. on here, Co Pastor. I'm here to tell yes, you that Lord. when you fast right, when when other people, when you put other people in, in, as a priority, that God honors that. My mind. Lord, have mercy that you ain't just Lord make me more anointed. God, um, make uh, bless me, Lord God, that all yeah. of my bills. Now you gotta think about somebody else, and then God said, then I'll yeah. start. Yeah, what you want me to responding. To you in a great way. <laughs> this is what how he's gonna answer though, Pastor. He said God will say yes. Yes. I am here. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. He will quickly 
reply. Lord, have mercy. Do you hear what I'm saying? <laughs> when you fast right, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> God, listen, when you call God, he can say, yes. <laughs> I'm here. What, what you want, Marquita? Yes. <laughs> what you want, Iris? Yes, what you want, Faith? Yes, what you want? What you want, Ron? Yes, what you want, Tiffany? Yes, what you want, Sister Glasgow? Yes, what you want, brother? What you want, God? What you want? Lord God said, when you're fasting right, oh Jesus, when you're getting it right, when when your heart is right while you're fasting, when 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 it's pleasing to me, My you don't call on me. I'm say, yes. Lord, have mercy. You ever seen a movie and these rich people when they have butlers or servants and they ring the bell and they come right away. They respond right away. Mama. He says, all you need to do. All you need to do. Is stop oppressing the weak. Stop oppressing the weak. And stop making false accusations. Stop lying. And spreading stop. vicious rumors. Stop, listen, stop lying. Oh, stop gossiping. Y'all didn't know where I was going the, the, the other day when I was saying that some of y'all are going to have to fast from phone conversations. My some my. of y'all are going to have to fast from some friendships. If all you talk about is other people in a bad way, God is saying that ain't pleasing to me. Go sit that nasty fast down somewhere. Pick up a real fast. This is the word of the Lord. Hey, speak, Lord. He's saying to us, church, <laughs> that we got to get this fast right. If you want God to respond, mm -hmm. if you're not just going through um, the motions, come on here. Feed the hungry. Feed the hungry. Help those in trouble. Help those in trouble. Then your light will shine out from the darkness. Uh-huh. And the darkness around you shall be as bright as day. He's Lord have mercy. <laughs> and the Lord. He's going to change it. Listen. Oh, come on. And the Lord will guide you continually. He will guide you continually. And, you ever fast? Mm. And remember I told you that the instruction is released when you fast right my, my, my. that God that you get to hear God mm. in a clearer yes, way yes this is what he's saying he said I will what guide you continually and satisfy you with all good things with all good things and keep you healthy too and keep you healthy too listen what God is saying is that if you just fasting because it's Lent. Hmm. If you're going to fast. And then even while you're fasting. You're still um, operating in the behavior. That you operated in before. The mm -hmm. fast. The sinful behavior that you mm -hmm. operated. Mm -hmm. He said. Get that nasty fast away from me. Yes. He said. I want you to fast. And I want you to take on. I want you to become more of me. This is what we're denying ourselves. Yeah. We're turning away from ourselves, but yet we got to turn to him. We're putting down my, my. all of the things that my, our my. flesh goes after, our flesh desires. We're picking up what it is that our spirit <coughs> is trying to manifest through us. Hear this. And you will be like a well-watered garden. You're going you're gonna to be like a well-watered garden. Like an ever-flowing stream. Like an ever-flowing stream. My God. You're going to always be blessed My is what he's God. saying. And I believe that even on this Jesus. morning. Jesus. Overflow. Overflow. Press down. That everything. Jesus. What he was saying is that everything you do will be blessed. Everything. It will flourish. You'll be like a garden that... That, that it's saturated with water. Mm. That you won't have dry season. Lord, <laughs> hey! have mercy. Your sons will rebuild the long deserted ruins of your cities. Ooh, now this is where, listen. Ooh, this is God. where you ought to get excited if you're a parent. He's saying if you do it right. He said, I'm going to break generational curses. That's it. I'm going to allow your children. And your children's children and your children's children's children <laughs> hey. to be blessed and not come under the curse. My God. Not come under the darkness, not come under the judgment. Mm, mm, mm. I want to say to you My this God. morning. 
that we got to examine where we are. I know this may come across as a hard teaching or preaching or lesson. Mm -mm. God is saying, put that nasty fast down somewhere. Yeah. Take up this holy fast. Yes. Where I am the reason, the real reason you're fasting. That you're not just fasting to get stuff, but you're fasting to become more like me. Mm. That you're fasting to be my ambassador in the world. Listen, the Holy Ghost spoke to me this morning. Mm. And I strongly feel like this. Outreach, Sister Redeemer, Sister Iris, y'all get ready. This is what the Lord told me. Every senior of the House of Victory. Listen to what I'm saying. If you are a member of the House of Victory Church, every senior, every senior who is on a fixed income, I want you to get your bill, your light bill, your water bill, whatever. I want you to get a bill. And I want you to get it ready. And I want you to bring it to the church. Yes. My God. I want you to get a bill. I don't care if it's your car note. Yes, Lord. I don't care if it's your electric bill, your water bill. I want you to get, if you are a member, if you are a, 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 a senior. My, my. And I ain't talking about. Um, in high school. Dwayne, yeah, senior <laughs> high school or Dwayne Robinson senior. I'm, I'm talking about what, what, 65? That's it. 65, no, you're on a fixed income. I want you to bring that bill. We're going to help you best we can. We're going to help you best we can. Yeah. Every, listen to what I'm saying. Every senior That's it. citizen, every senior citizen Hallelujah. under the umbrella Hallelujah. of House of Victory. Hallelujah, God. You get that bill. Hallelujah, God. Woo, Jesus. And we're going to tell you when. You can reach out to Sister Iris and Sister Redeemer. They'll, they'll, they'll have the information. But I need you. And if you can't come there, you connect with them. Yeah. And we, we're going to help you with that bill. We're not putting no money in your, in your hand, in your pocket. We're going we're, we're gonna, to we're gonna make we it. We want to meet a need for you. Yeah, we're going to meet a need for you. My God. Every senior. Every senior. Every senior. Every senior. Every senior citizen. We that's trust connected. God. We trust God. We trust God. Listen, I, I, I struggled, but I, 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 I felt and heard the Lord clear. Yes. And I know we're in the midst of a major, yeah. major thing. But we're going to have a, we're not going to have a nasty fast. We're on a holy fast. <laughs> we're going to have a holy fast. Ah, yeah, God. <laughs> Listen. Woo! We want to do, we want to do. What it is that God has called us to do. My God. Hallelujah. And let God be God. Hallelujah, God. And let God get the glory. He gets it all. Hallelujah. Listen, we got to go. Lord have mercy, we got to go. I hope that you all have. My, my. Embrace what it is that the Lord yes. is saying. It may be a struggle. Yeah. But the struggle is real. But God is realer. That's it. <laughs> and it's not impossible. It's not impossible. God wants to bless us. Yes, he does. But he also wants to build us. Yeah. He wants to build us. He, he wants us to be in, in the right. He wants us to be right with him. Mm -hmm. So that he can do those things that we desire for him to do. God wants to do it, but God said, I can't do it while you're dirty. I can't do it while you're unpure. I can't do it while your motives are not right. Mm -hmm. Because when I bless you, I'm not just blessing you for you. My, my, my. I'm blessing you that you might be a blessing to somebody else. Here it is, Matthew, Matthew. 6.33, he says, seek ye first. This is, what, this is the summation of this sermon today. That's what it is. Seek ye first the kingdom. Yeah. And it's righteousness. And then all other things will be added unto you. God says, when you, my way. listen, when you take care of my business. That's it. I'm obligated to take care of your business. So listen. So how. Yes, God. Yes, does God. Does this blessing benefit you? 
My for God. those that sow into victory, and you know the integrity of this ministry. Yes, Lord. We, you're helping us to be a blessing. Yes. To those that God called us to bless. Listen, we we already listen. Um, outreach reached out to us and said, "Hey, they're calling on us again for March to feed the homeless. We won't do it." Yes. God continues to bless us. We're going to do it. Yes, Lord. God continues to provide. Yes. But let me tell way. you, this is why for for those of you who struggle with trusting God. Lord have mercy. Maybe all you have is what you have. Yeah. Because you're it. not walking in obedience. And you might but think that you God have a that. lot. But maybe God, God is saying, mm. that's little. To what and I'm, I'm trying to and, and I'm trying to give you more. I'm trying to elevate. I'm trying to increase you. But you won't, you won't walk in obedience with what you have. Listen, God don't need it. He, he, wants, he wants us to be obedient. It's not about the money. It's the obedience with God. It blesses you. That's it. It is the, the obedience is the that obedience. is attached to the blessing. And I didn't get get a chance to get to that, but we but when we go to Deuteronomy, we'll see yes. that that's what brings about the blessing. So listen, I want to open the doors of the church. Yes, yes. And I want to pray for us because maybe there's somebody out Ooh. there. This is a great time, a great season great moment to give your life to Christ great time to come to the Lord and to say God I really I really I really want to get my life together yes. and I know I can't do it without you and so God here is my heart yes. and I want to place it in your hand God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son and whosoever believes in him shall not perish yes. but have everlasting life God didn't send his, world, his son into the world to condemn the world, mm. but by him, through him, the world might be that's saved. It. This is your moment. This is your time. If that's you, come on, in this Lenten season, as we journey towards the cross, yes. as we put our attention on fasting, focusing on God, yes. and being faithful to God, why don't you come on and journey with us? You don't have to be perfect. None of us are. None of us are. You just have to be you just willing have to be willing to give your heart to the Lord. And so it is my prayer, mm -hmm. our prayer, that if you are tuning in, you might even be catching the replay right now. We want to make sure that you have a relationship with Jesus Christ and that you have a covering. You you have yes. a place where you are connected to. Listen, I, I reached out last night, Pastor, and sent some messages out. Because I believe that if I love people, I ought to want them to be in relationship with Jesus. Yeah. And I've seen God do some things in the lives of my family members, my siblings. And, I, and, I, and, I'm, whole, and I'm pushing and I'm saying, listen, join in for worship. God has been good to us. Yeah. God has been faithful to us. He's been kind to us. This is your moment. He's allowed death to pass over us when, yeah. we, sh when we deserve to die. This is your time. God let you live. How and so we want, you, we want you saved. We want you saved. We want you in relationship with That's God. It. That's and it. we want you connected it's to not a about place religion. where you can grow. This is not about religion. It's about relationship. What would it profit the, a man to gain the world and lose his soul? My, my, my. What would it profit you? you come? And maybe you are saved. Maybe you already have a relationship with God. Mm -hmm. And you and you are in a place where you know you are you 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 you, need, you know you need a church home. You know yes. you need a covering. Mm -hmm. Consider making House of Victory Fredericksburg Church your your home. Yeah, we're Listen, not I, perfect, but I, we yeah. love God. Yeah, and our ministers, our leaders are are on the live. Just say, listen, if that's you, say, that's me. We'll reach out to you. We'll celebrate with you right now. Yes. We'll receive you right now. Just say, I want to give my heart to the Lord. Just say, I want to be a part of HOV and we'll receive you. We'll receive you. Come on, if you want to inbox us. Listen, we're excited. We're growing. God is breathing on us. God is blessing us in a great way. As a matter of fact, we, um, we had a new members fellowship yesterday and I want to thank um, Dr. Sonia, Minister Fay, uh, for leading our, um, our onboarding uh, courses with the new members. Uh, we're excited. God is doing an amazing work. God is faithful. 
Listen, we got to go. Got to go. Again, we apologize for um, the interruption that was beyond us. That was uh, Facebook. That was Facebook. And so, um, you know. God's word still went forth. And maybe that's what it was that the enemy didn't want you to hear. That if you, if you got a nasty fast, you better sit your nasty fast down somewhere. Clean it up. And clean it up. Make it holy. <laughs> Thank you. Love God. other people. Treat other people right. Stop quarreling. Make it about God. Make it God-centric. Make it Jesus-centric. We got to go, but before we go, we want you to know My that mind. your life is full of favor. That your, Listen, that your name has favor. Mm. That you have favor with both God and man. Your name has favor. Your family has favor. Your finances have favor. Your health has favor. Your church Woo! has favor. You will experience the favor of God every day every day of your life walk in victory walk in victory we, we love, love you, you but God loves you more amen